Mags? What's up? I need help thinking of some video ideas. Mm, I'm about swapping diets with someone. Do you want to swap diets with me? Not really. Yeah, kind of out of people then. How about you try someone's morning routine and see what happens? What do you mean, see what happens? You know, like, I did Batman's morning routine for 30 days and this is what happened. What do you mean, this is what happened, like, what if nothing happens? Won't nothing happen? Well, that's not really the point, is it? Because if nothing happened, then that's what happened. I also feel like 30 days is probably just quite a long time, isn't it? Yeah, fair. What about just, uh, just a day then? A day? I tried something once and this is what happened. Does anything ever happen in a day? You could call it 24 hours. That kind of sounds a bit longer. Yeah, I think I'm going to scrap that idea, to be honest. Okay then, how about you try like a fitness test or something and see how you do? You mean, see what happens? Yeah, yeah. Alright, cool, cool. I like that idea. Um, I should probably do some practice first though. Oh no, try without practice. Hmm. Hmm, okay, so what would the title be? Um, Bodybuilder tries Royal Marine fitness test without practice. Yeah, what, what if people comment though saying like, you know, like where's, where's the bodybuilder? Okay, okay. How about these five exercises are killing your gains, open bracket, do not do these, close bracket. Oh no, no, avoid these. To be fair, that sounds pretty good. So what are the five exercises? I don't know, just make some up. You're fitness, aren't you? I think I'm just going to do a full day of eating again. You're a shit YouTuber. I know. Yo, nobody tell Mags that I'm sat in the white chair, you're not allowed to sit on this chair, it's just for show mate. Anyway, this video is sponsored by Legend London, the creators of this pleasant, oversized, boxy fit, plain black tee. I currently sport along with these jeans as well. I'll show you them when I stand up, along with other various garments that I will wear throughout this uh, this video and as I do, what I'll do is like one of these little things so you know exactly what it is and the size that I wear go on, go on, do it I'll do one of those things so if you've watched my videos for a long time then you'll know that a long time? what's a long time? if you've watched them for a while you'll know that Legend have been sponsoring my videos for ages I appreciate the support from them and I reciprocate that by telling you how sick the clothes are, because I do think they are sick. So, if you want to buy them, you can. Obviously, you're allowed. There's going to be a link in the top link. <laughs> Am I good at ads? Let us know. Am I good? Would you sponsor me? If you were like, do you know what I mean? Anyway, there's going to be a link, top link in the description. There's also going to be a, a discount code. It's probably like Joe10 or JoeyD10 or just JoeyD or... So I'll definitely find out what it is before I actually, you know, 
upload this video because that'd be helpful. So if you want to buy the clothes, you can. They're good. I wear them. That's why I've actually got stains on these jeans because I actually do wear them. Do you know what I mean? You can't just say I wear them for the video. I'm not going to show you the stains. You might try and get them out. I should have tried to get them out. Anyway, let's carry on with that day. So, if you'll allow me to indulge myself for a minute, I'm going to talk to you about my physique goals for this year. So, for the past probably 18 months, I've just maintained like manageable levels of leanness, right? Nothing extreme, certainly lean enough so that like people open up their Instagram and they're like, this dude's pretty, this dude's in good nick, like, dude's pretty lean, you know? Instagram lean, mate beach lean and obviously over that time there's been like some fluctuations as ever and the peaks of which correlate strongly with Christmas you know birthdays stuff like that when you might gain a little bit more weight then you lose it again right but overall throughout that time period been nothing crazy nothing extreme certainly not some of the grotesque levels that I have hit in the past right and I'd say I probably haven't been like shredded shredded since maybe like the back end of summer 2019 and the reason for that is simply because I just haven't had the motivation right because really like if I'm 13, 14 percent body fat, 10, 11, what difference does it make right? Nobody really cares right? You don't care, I probably don't care to be honest right and so like with us being locked down and everything you think is there any point right? putting myself through that because although what you have to do is not complex right it's a simple process because it's simple doesn't mean it's not somewhat difficult right I wouldn't say that you have to go through suffering as such but you certainly have to endure a bit of discomfort to get to those levels right now since it's been so long since this year I'm pretty uh, I'm feeling optimistic I feel like I've got, I feel like I've got the hunger, right? I feel like I've got the desire to go there again, right? And so, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think this year, I'm going to bring back the, uh, the levels that make your mum worry, right? The levels where you turn up to your mum's house and she's like, whoa, Joe, this is a family intervention, right? Eat this immediately, you know what I mean? Now, the question that follows from that is obviously, why then did we just witness you lathering peanut butter onto a bagel with zero regard for the amount you were using? I didn't see scales anywhere. What's the grammage? Someone tell me, I'm gonna have a panic attack, right? That's the logical question, right? Now, the answer is, I think I'm at a point in my life where there are some things that bring me so much deep pleasure that I'm just not willing to sacrifice them for anything, right? And I think my daily peanut butter and banana bagel is one of those things. On top of that, I think I'm done with tracking calories. You know, I think it's been maybe seven years, possibly longer, that I've been tracking calories on and off, right? And at some point, you think to yourself, do I need to be doing this all the time? Should I be doing this? You know what I mean? Do I want to track calories for a full decade? Probably not, is the answer to that. And ultimately, I suppose it comes down to the fact that I think I can get shredded without tracking, right? And without sacrificing that holy, almighty peanut butter and banana bagel in the morning, right? And so that's what I'm going to do. We're starting now. Let's fucking do it. Ah! Slaps the finger. Who's doing it with me? Talk to me about 2021 shreds. I didn't film myself making the cottage cheese on toast. But uh, if you want the recipe or step-by-step -step guide you can dm me i'll help you out so 
one of the things I'm doing that I'm not tracking is making sure that I have four solid protein hits per day. So that might not necessarily be four meals, but it'll be four protein hits. So this is numero dos. That's Spanish for two, for number two. Mm. Yes, yes, the people, we're going to do a quick workout voiceover because I think one montage per video is probably the acceptable limit, isn't it? And we did already use that on the bagel scene. I think it was a, you know, valid use of that montage. <laughs> the bagel scene sounds like an underground bagel society. Anyway, I'm currently following a simple training split as per the one you see on the screen. Uh, at least until gyms open up properly anyway, and then I will go back to following an actual program. So, today is day four of this split. Now, the first exercise is cable squats. I started doing these recently because an injury is preventing me from loading weight onto my back, so no squats, things like that. Now, although these look like a squat, they are quite quad focused because the direction of resistance means that you're kind of pushing yourself away from the cables rather than just directly up vertically. So they feel quite like a leg extension or even a sissy squat, something like that. The full stack on these cables ain't very heavy, so I'm just doing pretty high rep sets. But, you know, that's probably for the best at the moment anyway. Alright, next up, some OHP. This is the first time I've done barbell overhead presses in a while, actually, again, because I demolished my spinal column. So, loading weight vertically has been off limits for a bit. I say that, but I have been doing some pretty high rep dumbbell presses. Uh, but they were quite light. I only went up to like 20 kilogram dumbbells max on those. I actually feel like they served me quite well. So I'm going to keep doing them and just alternate them with barbell OHP as you see here. Now the good news is that the shoulder impingement I had is completely cleared up. And before people ask, I didn't really do anything other than just making sure I was still pressing regularly. Uh, and just building up the resistance very, very gradually. So although I was pressing often and using it often, uh, a lot of that was just very low resistance stuff. Hi, current physique, zero flex, mate. Obviously, I've just done a set of them, a few sets of them, so I've got a bit of a pump. Nothing special, man. Pretty normal. Gonna get there, though. Summer 2021, resurrection, man. Let's do it. I'm also, I'm not even speaking to this, am I? I'm also plagued with injuries, but I'm not even gonna go into it because it's just boring me now. I'm just gonna take the steps, mate. Gradual. Get over it, that's what I'm gonna do. I reckon we're gonna peak about end of June. So it's about 12-ish weeks away, I think. Maybe 13, 14, which is plenty of time. So let's do it. All right, some dumbbell calf raises next. Boring, let's move on. Rear delt cable flies, not an exercise I would usually include, but since my bicep tendonitis or tendinopathy is still giving me a bit of trouble, I can't really do pull exercises with the same intensity that I usually would, hence why I think it is prudent to include some rear delt isolations at least. And that is essentially the same reason that I'm also including shrugs now. Again, not an exercise I would bother with because I think if you are rowing and deadlifting, then shrugs are pretty unnecessary. However, I'm currently not deadlifting and I'm only rowing really low weight. So, we're doing some shrugs. Now, I know I've mentioned a lot of injuries, but obviously I'm very aware that it's boring. So, I'm not going to talk about it too much. Don't feel sorry for me because I don't feel sorry for myself. I'm just going to focus on what I can do and focus on getting better so I can still achieve an otherworldly physique this year. And then maybe finally someone will do a natty or not video on me. Lockdown walks for the sanity, mate. I'm obviously not walking. I'm obviously having a rest on a bench, mate. Lurking. I'm not really lurking, I'm just I'm just sat down. 
<laughs> anyway, yeah, lockdown walks for the sanity because never forget to train sanity or you might lose it, mate. Like everything else, man. Don't train it, you lose it. Anyway, it's a bit of a beauty evening, so I thought I'd come and have a stroll. I don't want to talk to you about how ridiculously pumped I am for any kind of semblance of normal life once this lockdown's over. Mate, I'm going, man. I feel like a, 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 I'm a... I'm, a, I'm an elastic band, mate. I'm a stretched out elastic band. I'm shred bandy, <laughs> and uh, I'm ready to pop, man. I, I never, I've never felt a more like. I think everyone's just got this pent up energy, haven't they? Do you know what I mean? This sense that fucking hell, man, life's too short to do fuck all. So you have to do something, man. It really doesn't matter what you do, just do something, man. So um, I don't know if I'm getting my point across. I don't know if you even got one. I'm probably just being a basic bitch influencer imparting basic lockdown realizations upon his audience that probably is patronizing to some extent um but life's gonna be different soon man i hope i'm optimistic about it i think we're gonna get there and uh, i might just live a little differently man i might just live a little differently because i've never felt more more passion, man. More get up and go. More of a kick up the ass to just fucking do shit. Because otherwise, right, one day, this is the thing, right? I'll tell you close, right? In case anyone hears me. Right, one day, you're gonna die, mate. Do you know what I mean? And then you can't do shit, man. You can't do anything when you die. Except lie there, man. That's it. And that's shit. Because that's, you know... Basically, we've all just been alive for a year, but we ain't been living, man. And the point of life is not to simply exist, is it? Am I? I'm being too cheesy now. I'm gonna stop, but the long and short of it is, content might change. That doesn't matter. You don't care. I know you don't care about that, because what I'll do, whatever the content is, I'll just make it good, man. So I might, I might do a full 180 and be a vlogger again, because. Needs most, mate. But if I am, we'll just make it good. You can watch if you want. Yo, that's the end of my video. Thanks for watching it. If you're not subscribed to my channel, fix that issue immediately. See you later. Bye. Jordan Lenny is my hero.